What's up, guys? Uh, I'm Brennan Kidder back again, and today on uh, this Geek Thought vid, guys, um, we're going to talk about some news that's been coming out of uh, DC Universe um, streaming site, you know, that's coming soon, uh, let alone one of their TV shows that they're working on. And uh, we're here to talk about the Doom Patrol. Yeah, Doom Patrol. Um, let, let's make it perfectly clear, guys. Um, your Alpha wasn't really a big Doom Patrol reader, um, wasn't really a big fan of them. You know, I was more, you know, I, I chose the X-Men over them any day of the week. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I, like I've always said about the Legion of Superheroes too. you know, not a big reader, but I, I had respect for what they, what they were meant for. Same thing with Doom Patrol. I had respect for what they were meant for. Um, and now they're, they're doing this TV series on 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 DC, the DC uh, universe. But this news came out and I was like, wow, I'm really happy for the actor. Um, and what's going on? Yes, check it out. Check this out. Mr. Brendan Fraser is going to be Robot Man in the Doom Patrol series. Now, he's going to play Cliff Steele. As you all know, Robot Man got into a bad accident when he was um when he was still human. His body was uninhabited where he could, you know, his brain so his brain was moved into a powerful robot body. Now, some of you probably say, wow, this is really interesting. Brendan Fraser, really? I mean, where the hell has he been all this time? He took a he took a big hiatus from working. And he he really uh and there was also some, some issues with you know family and things like that. I think his ex-wife was really kind of leaning him dry with alimony and things like that. I don't know all the details, but I know it also had something to do with that. But um he came back with uh, a lot of doing a lot of TV work. Um, he was on the, sh the Showtime show, The Affair. He got new buzz from that. And then also he's on the show, the FX show, um, the anthology series, uh, Trust. He's on that show. So he, he has been around, you know, he's been making his strides back. But in terms of like movie wise, it's not so been so many. Uh, but if you know Brendan Fraser, if you don't know him, then you should you better ask somebody because this man has been around since the late nineties, um, the early nineties, I should say. Encino Man, um, I'm forgetting the movie he did with Chris O'Donnell, um, where he 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 was gay, and and um, he was in a boarding school. I'm forgotten the damn name of that movie. It was a good movie too, um, but of course. Uh, Georgia the Jungle. He's done a lot of cartoon classics. Georgia the Jungle, Dudley Do Right, but of course, the Mummy trilogy really put him on the map as a legit action adventure guy that people really enjoy. And I still love the Mummy, those those uh, Steven Sombers Mummy movies. Um, so I'm really happy for uh, for Mr. Frazier. I, I congratulated. I was like, congratulations. I was like, whoa, this is this is. Have fun with the role. Um, we also know that they they've already casted Cyborg in in the Doom Patrol. Yes, Cyborg is going to be in this TV series, and I'm I'm forgetting the actor that's playing him. But I I know a friend of mine told me he was in the last um he was in the last uh, uh, Purge movie, the one that was supposed the one that's supposed to be the first Purge. Yeah, he was in that. Uh, but. What? How are they going to do this? You may be asked. Well, according to Deadline, I read is that they're going. He's gonna. They're gonna do. He's gonna be the voice, and they're gonna do motion capturing for him. So he's gonna be doing all the movements for Robot Man. They're gonna show him in his Brendan in in um in past, you know, in flashbacks before he became Robot Man. Uh, but he's gonna be doing a lot for the role. It's not just he's providing the voice. He's going to be doing a lot. Just how, um, just how Thanos, you know, you, you had, you had all that motion capturing for him, but it was actually done by the actor. 
It's the same thing that they're going to do with uh, Brendan Fraser. Um, I believe they start shooting sometime soon in Atlanta. Um, I may give this a try. I'm not sure because, honestly, the only thing I'm really interested in with the DC Universe is Young Justice. I, I'm, I'm not really interested in too much in the other shows, but some of these shows are catching my eye, especially the Swamp Thing. Um, when's the last time we had a Swamp Thing series? Early 90s? I remember it. Early 90s when Dick Durock was still doing the role. Um, rest in peace, I should say. But your alpha, my pack, is very happy for Mr. Brendan Fraser. I'm very happy. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and say, like, oh, this is stupid. No. I mean, it, has he gotten older? Yes. He's only he's only 49, guys. He's only 49. Um, it's not like he's, he's up there in age. Uh, he's only 49. I'm sure... He, he hits the gym and gets back into tip-top shape for the performances and things like that. He'd be just fine. Uh, but I'm happy for Brendan Fraser. You guys tell me in the comments section below. Your alpha always wants your input. Hit it in the comment section below. What do you think of this com what do you think about this casting? What do you think? Are you happy for Mr. Brendan Fraser? Is because for me, I am. I have always been a fan of his. And he just went through some tough times. And But I'm hoping this will be good for him. Really good for him. But other than that, guys, this is Mom Vernon Kid saying peace with love. Stay tuned. Keep it real. You know my slogan, guys. I'm the Geek High Lord of New York. Your alpha bid you adieu. You guys take care. I'm out.